The question given here is, before development of overt AIDS, a combination of conditions such as oral candidiasis, oral hairy leukoplakia is seen in a patient. What is the most appropriate term for this presentation? That is, a patient before entering into the overt AIDS phase develops a combination of conditions like oral candidiasis, oral hairy leukoplakia, etc. And what is the term that is used to denote such presentation in AIDS patient? And the various options given are AIDS dementia complex, AIDS related complex, AIDS related diseases and AIDS designated complex. First of all, we should know that when a person acquires HIV virus, they enter into acute phase. So this acute phase may be asymptomatic or symptomatic developing various symptoms which is denoted by the term acute retroviral syndrome. And the symptoms manifested are usually self-limiting because at the end of acute phase, the immune system gets activated producing antibodies against the virus. Therefore, the viral load decreases the time when the patient in acute phase enter or move into the next stage that is the chronic or latency stage. So, here the viral load is less because of the actively functioning immune system and therefore the patients does not show any symptoms. They remain asymptomatic but still some patients will develop persistent generalized lymphadenopathy throughout their latency stage also. So, at one point of time, the immune system fails to control the viral replication and the viral load starts increasing and it attacks the CD4 plus T cells resulting in fall in CD4 plus T cell count. So therefore, when the CD4 plus T cell count reduces to less than 500 per cubic millimeter, when it reduces to less than 500 per cubic millimeter, the patient starts developing symptom that is they enter into the symptomatic phase of HIV. So therefore, before developing such overt AIDS, the patient develops a combination of conditions like they develop chronic fever, diarrhea, weight loss, herpes zoster, candidiasis, hairy leukoplakia, etc. And this manifestation or this presentation of various conditions just before the patient developed overt AIDS is given the term or it is denoted by the term ARC that is nothing but AIDS related complex. Therefore, the AIDS related complex are nothing but they are the prodromal phase of the AIDS where they develop these combinations just before developing the overt AIDS phase. So therefore, out of the given four options, the most appropriate term for the presentation mentioned in the question is AIDS related complex. So when we look into the other options, that is option one says AIDS dementia complex. So AIDS dementia complex is a term associated with the AIDS because the HIV enters into the CNS manifesting as progressive encephalopathy progressive encephalopathy. So, therefore, the patient will develop encephalitis, loss of memory, lack of concentration, lack of interest, etc. And that is known as AIDS dementia complex. It is also known as HIV associated dementia. HIV associated dementia. That is the neurological dysfunction seen in HIV patient is given the term AIDS dementia complex or HIV associated dementia. The third option says AIDS related diseases. It is a generalized term indicating the various diseases or conditions associated with HIV such as Kaposi sarcoma or non-Hodgkin's lymphoma etc. comes under the general term AIDS related diseases. And the fourth option AIDS designated complex. It is not a definitive terminology as such. So therefore among the four given options the condition that is used to mention the presentation in AIDS patient is AIDS related complex which is acting as a prodromal phase before the development of symptomatic HIV infection.